Alright folks, here we are facing off against Danger Dave, and oof, they got some underused threats. They got a Rotom and a Celesteel. You already know that Celesteel is going to be packing Meteor Beam. Which can do a number on my team, honestly. I feel like they're going to go with the Universal Lead Rotom. They could also lead off with the um, Ferrothorn. Both of which can do a number on me. They could also lead Lando. I might honestly just lead off with Ban Me. See what go, where we can go from there. What do I even have for the Cell of Steel, man? That can sweep me. If, if it uses up its Meteor Beam, though, then it can't really touch Zapdos. So, there's that. We just got hacks into Oblivion. The, the hacks didn't really honestly matter. It was more so the Head Smash misses on Uxie got me very tilted, honestly. And then, um... What else? Overestimating Mr. Rhyme. Throwing away my Mawile, which I really needed for Altaria, honestly. Which wouldn't happen if I missed those head smashes. If I hadn't missed the head smashes. But let, let's not worry about that right now. Alright, we're focused on fight facing Danger Day. This is much more important. Because we have not beaten this man in uh, Battle Hub League Battle. This is round two. They have in round three very soon versus Yaw. Eat off with Benji, the Lando. This is great. I can get some nice, nice free rocks. They're probably going to do the same. Going to really want these rocks up for that darn... Um, in case the Blaziken is Scarf... Imagine, I mean, not Scarf. Uh, Focus Sash. The Cleaner. They send out Rotom. So it appears that they would like the Defog. Defog or Will-O-Wisp. This Mon's really annoying, honestly. I'm honestly just gonna Dragon Tail. Because they're probably gonna think I'm gonna switch out and just go for a free Defog, so I'm gonna try to get rid of this thing. They go for Pump. Alright, that's a crit, unfortunately, but, you know what, Garchomp has at least gotten rid of, I mean, it's gotten some chip on that, and it's gotten a Brock, that's the most important thing, and ooh, perfect, send out this thing, I don't care, if something's about to take a Fire Blast, bro, because they're also going to take rocks, so, I don't think this kills, um, though, maybe with my relaxed nature, depending on their EVs, I don't know, I don't know what I mean to say is that, um, I am, what I mean to say is I'm not minus attack, correct? Yeah. Let's go for it. Bro, I thought we got all the hacks out of the way! Come on. I, I, I literally said in the last battle too, oh, I don't, I don't usually run Fire Blast, you know. It's, it's very rare I run Fire Blast. Usually like I run Flamethrower because I like it better. Mm. You gotta be kidding me, brother. Let's do this on the incoming Rotom. Or whatever. There's no way you're gonna stay in, right? Versus a Garchomp that just fire blasts you. I mean, come on. Or they're gonna go out in a Blaziken or something like that. Brother. Yeah. Hey, at least... Alright, we're getting leftovers recovery. We're getting stuff. And that was a minus one Dragon Tail on a Rotom. That did more than I thought, honestly. Because I'm just used to Rotom being so defensive. Could be some death Rotom, I don't know. We're gonna Dragon Tail this thing too. It makes something take some more rocks, Chip. All right, you know what? At least everything's getting chipped, and actually, we're getting more recovery, so this is okay. Now, as for this thing, we don't really have any switchings to this thing. I might just sack off Garchomp right here. I don't want him going for Dragon Dance or anything. We're setting up something else. Drop a Draco. Maybe we can get some return hacks, and they can miss their Draco. You know, it's it's only fair, bud. I missed my Fire Blast, you missed your Draco. Of course not. Why would I? Why would I get ever return hacks? Let's just run the damage count on that real quick. You know, I'm saying. you know what? You put in your work, dog. Honestly, they might just get swept by freaking this thing right now. 
Show me your switchins here, bud. <laughs> Show me your switchins. To oh, I forgot about the rocks. It doesn't change the fact that there's no switchins. Okay. Let's see here. Garchomp versus Ferroform. With a nice, let's change that to relax, so that we're not spit my attack, and let's make it into a nice fire blast here, son. How much is it doing? Forty. This is fully spadaf ferroform, by the way. So forty-eight to fifty-seven, or sixty to seventy-one, which we easily put it in range of a nice shadow ball. Let's see if I'm correct about this thing being spadaf. We could also get a spadaf, uh, spadaf drop. Can you at least give me a spadaf drop, bro? Oh, we don't need a spadef drop. Oh, thank you, brother, for the spadef drop. Thank you. Uh, thankfully, though, I did not need it. Ah, seems as though we might get ourselves a little boost -a boost honestly. And that's Celesteela. Let's, let's go ahead and calc Celesteela versus Blacephalon. We get a nice boost -a boost Celesteela, versus a nice little Blacephalon. Um, Choice Scarf, Shadow Ball, uh, plus one is not doing nearly enough, I'm not going to lie. It's only doing about 76% max. That is level 100, of course. If we change it to level 50, it's still not going to change the fact. Even after rocks, I mean, it's not doing nearly enough. And, and yep, in comes the Sail of Steela. Now, here's the problem. They are going to, indeed, Autotomize or a Meteor Beam. But, I do have Aqua Jet. Let me see, let me look at the rest of my Mons. I mean... I really don't want to throw this away. But I can't afford to let them autonomize. They, they can miss Meteor Beam. They can miss Meteor Beam. They can miss Meteor Beam. I crit. That's in range of um, easily an Aqua Jet. They can miss Meteor Beam. Miss, 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 miss. Of course not. It's fine. We threw away our our wind con here. I couldn't afford to let him autonomize though. I really needed that chip on this thing though. You gotta understand. Hang on. Celesteela versus um my um Buzzwool. And my max speed on this thing. If I max speed on this thing, then I can throw off a nice ice punch. Nice. Alright, we're gonna go on you bugging. And Blaziken's absolutely no problem. So they didn't autonomize. Well, I was scared there. I thought I wasn't going to kill for a second. Okay, we're looking good. We're looking good. The only threat is the Dragapult. But it's taken a good amount of chip. I'm pretty sure Grassy Glide and something else. They can't Oko my Zapdos, I don't think, with anything. So I just need some chip. Need some nice chip. And then we can finish them off with Grassy Glide, Aqua Jet, whatever. And at that point, Crawdon just wins. See, I have to understand, folks. I could not let that Celesteela autonomize. Listen, but if you want to Shadow Ball, drop a Draco, do whatever you want to do, that's fine with me. Because th this, uh, this Zapdos has Fire Move for thing, right? Yep. You could miss Draco. You go for Fire Blast. Oh, yeah, they hit their Fire Blast. Of course they do.
Hmm. Probably gonna send out Lando, right? Let's go for Though, what am I doing? I could miss, bro. Oh, I should've went for knock. What am I doing, bro? Of course, I should've just SD'd into knock off. Is this thing still alive? Why didn't I just go for knock off? Listen, brother, I don't need HP on the scene. Just kill you with a knockoff right now. Nice. We don't, we don't need HP on it. It's all right. We just need it for the laser. Come Could have been a little bit cleaner. Could have SD'd into knockoff. This where it gets tough. Can you please miss a move, bro? Should have gone for Roost that turn. I need the chip. Pretty sure Grassy Glide guaranteed kills this thing. And then that combination will win. Let me just do the damage count. Should have roosted that turn, honestly. But I mean, it's gonna take Rock's chip. I mean, how much do we do to Blaze again? Plus two. Plus two. Eighty-three to ninety-eight. I'm a sword stance and win. You think you got me, friend? Guaranteed win now, bro. You can't stop me. I'm all the way up. Even if they switch out, they switch out. And Dragapult, Crawdont wins. This thing dies, I just win now. Because... Plus three. Plus three Grassy Glide in the terrain versus a Blaziken does 103.6% minimum at level 100. And to Dragapult, it does 93%. You need to be Choice Specs, Vacuum Wave, and Protect, and stall out all my turns. 
destroyed. Whew. Perfectly calculated, of course. I had to let the Placephalon die. Even though it swept, I could not afford to let Silas steal autonomize. And one more Grassy Glide will finish it off. Oh, we finally get the dub versus Danger Dave. I know we let so many Pokemon die on our team. I think we only have two Pokemon left, right? But it had to be done. I needed those sacks. We came out on top versus Danger Dave. Finally, bro. We did it. Finally. Oh, all it cost me was a missed Fire Blast and my sanity. But we did it, folks. That's just going to be GG's. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next Pokemon Sword Show Wi Fi. I'm sorry. I'm just so teared up. Oh, man. It's like, what? A, a year. It took me a year to come overcome this. Ah, emotions are running high, especially after the light hacks. But it's all good. It, all, it was all worth it at the end. We'll see you guys in the next Wi-Fi battle. Bye-bye.